the level at which Peter Obi is visiting states that affected by flood is not really right. And I can say it anytime, any day. Because if you look at it very well, you will know that Peter Obi, he is a, a vice presidential candidate, a vice, stand as a vice, as a running mate to Article 2019. And there was flood in some part of Kogi State and some other states in Nigeria in the year 2019. And Peter Obi did not visit anywhere. 2020, there was no election in Nigeria. There's no general election. Peter Obi was not contesting for anything. He did not contest for anything. And he did not visit anywhere. 2021, Peter Obi did not, did not visit anywhere in Nigeria because of flood. But now, he is in Kogi State to, 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 to visit them, to donate some items, to donate some money to them because of flood, because he's contesting. Are you trying to buy our vote because we are in pain? You use people pain to, 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 to campaign. You are using this opportunity to campaign, which is absolutely wrong. Over four years now, you have been silent. Nobody know you. Nobody, you, you, you don't say anything about flood. But because you are contesting for a particular position, in Nigeria now, you are, you, you, you are visiting so many states, which I think it is absolutely wrong for any presidential candidate to be visiting state like that. I'm not talking about P to be alone. I am talking about Atiku, Sowore, Tunibu, Kwakwaso. The all of them, I will say what they are doing is absolutely wrong because last year, as apart from Tunibu, that sometimes. He will give his helping hand out, you know, at equal also. But Peter B has never in any way done such, some, such, anything of such. And this is to show you that he's aiming for something. That's why he's coming out to visit you. He's not doing that because he loves you. He's doing that because to convince you to vote for him. You know, these politicians, we need to understand them. How can you be visiting places because you are you, you, you are contesting now you can see in this picture peter b uh standing by the left he stand with uh, the Atta of igala you know mr matthew opalua and the uh, adaji the uh, bishop of Ang uh, ida now these are people because I've never seen Peter be with these people before, but because he's contesting for a particular post, that's what makes him to, to come out to, 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 to unite with these people, to do something with them. What is really happening in Nigeria? Do you think our religion houses have been turned to campaign ground? Because I have seen Peter be with so many uh, pastors, so many reverend fathers, so many imams, and not only people be alone, Tinibu have been doing that, Atiku have been doing that, which I am not trying to condemn uh, only Peter be alone, but Peter B especially is the one the, taking this flood of a thing as a business, to, as, a, as a means to, 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 to promote his, uh, his ambition. Let me use that word. He's using that this opportunity to, 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 to campaign indirectly, which some of you, some of you don't really understand. You know, sometimes we speak and they will be threatening us with all kinds of words, but you don't understand what we are saying. Some of the things people will ask you, go and verify, go and this, go and that. Some of it, if you verify, you will find out yourself. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. My next video will be about P2B and Tunibu again.